Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And um, you know, I haven't done a I haven't done a video since my last live stream. Hmm. Yeah, your boy been busy, but um, it is the off season, and you know, it's always something going on with the Dallas Cowboys. But I just wanted to weigh in a little bit on the uh, Travis Frederick thing. Um, he is back practicing with the uh, with his teammates now. It's on a very minimal basis right now. So, uh, like I told you guys before, like, you know, be happy about it. But again, because of the syndrome that he has, um, the Cowboys have to be extra cautious with him. Um, there's no real timetable on uh, when he's going to come back, but they're hoping training camp. Now, he's been doing really good with, you know, with rehabbing and um, just monitoring, you know, his, his, um, his strength and things of that nature. But... Um, I will say that he did practice with some of his teammates yesterday. Um, if you guys don't know already, if you've been living under a rock, um, the NFL is starting their off-season programs now. Cowboys have been in on it. Um, Dak Prescott has been out there um, with his with his wide receivers, the offensive linemen out there. Zach Martin said itself, hey, you know, we'd love to see our, our guy come back. Um, it's been great having Travis Frederick on the sideline, being almost like a player coach and, you know, helping out. But um, they're excited for the opportunity for him to come back and actually play. Now, if Travis Frederick actually gets a chance to start and play again um, this season, it could be a hell of a, a boost for this offensive line. And I'm just looking at the positives when it comes to that. Now, I'm very optimistic about the situation. I'm looking at the positives and everything right now. So, you know, we all love Travis Frederick. We know that, you know, him playing is, is a tremendous boost for this team. Um, you look at um, Lyle Collins. Everybody's been trashing Lyle Collins, saying that he sucks and things of that nature. Who knew that he was injured? I didn't know he was injured. So it kind of brings a different perspective to it. You know, when you're dealing with a... With a rotator cuff injury, I don't know if you guys ever had any type of labrum issues or or or, or rotator cuff where you had to get that that surgically fixed or whatever or your tendons in that. You can't lift your arm, you can't rotate, you can't move around, and you know. Being an offensive lineman, being a defensive lineman, those are big positions when it comes to using your arms and your shoulders because, again, you, you, you're you using leverage and you're pushing off on guys to try to get past them. Like, if you don't have strength in your arms, you're not going to be productive at all. So you look at the injuries that happened with him, you know, him getting the surgery. Hopefully Lyle Collins will be back by um, training camp. Um Tyron Smith dealing with his back and knee and elbow, all the injuries that he's had over the course of his um, career. But I'd rather have a 70, 80 percent Tyron Smith than not have him at all. That's just how I feel about it. Um, as we as a draft drafts next week. So we talk about the draft and things of that nature. You're looking at these offensive linemen and things of that nature. Um, you know, I think that they will draft an offensive lineman, but I, I'll be honest with you. Um, and I'll be doing my mock draft this week on my live stream. You guys will see it. But, um, you know, I don't think that they'll probably get one in the early rounds because there's, in their opinion, higher priorities. Um if they do pick an offensive lineman in the fourth round, it's not going to be somebody that starts. But I don't think the Cowboys need a starter. They have they have capable guys out there to get it done. They need somebody that they can groom, somebody they can um, – for future, future. You know what I mean? Um, you don't need a guy in there. You just need it for depth purposes. And, again, having depth on this team is, is crucial. The Cowboys have been doing a good job of pro providing more depth and getting these guys out there. I'm, I'm happy to see this. So, you know, just, just let's just be happy about what's going on. Um, when I do my mock draft, I'm going to do it a little differently than you guys have seen before because, again, I'm going to put a different spin on it, different perspectives. Um, talk about some some of the things that you guys don't, you know, think about now again all of us youtubers all have different perspectives on things we all have different opinions that's what makes us different we may not always agree you know i may have different opinions than mark holmes i may have a different opinion than michael than different opinions than my man vosh or law nation or, or or any or any other cowboys youtuber out there you know we're gonna have different as opinion and that's the reason why you have a variety a lot of you guys subscribe to every single one of us. Some some of you guys only subscribe to certain one of us. Whatever your flavor is, I'm not offended by none of it. I mean, some of you guys don't like me. It is what it is. Um, you know, I'm just a regular guy just like any of you guys out here. You know what I mean? I'm just out here 
just trying to bring a different perspective, show you guys how I roll on my channel, and it is what it is. If you like it, great. If you don't, okay. Uh, you know, but I try to persuade people to um, look at things in not just one way. So, you know, that's just that's just how I roll. But again, as far as Travis Frederick goes, um, I'm happy to see him actually practicing because, again, not playing this whole uh, last season, um, you know, it was a tremendous – you can see the difference of him not being on the field. Now, I praise Joe Looney for coming in there and getting the experience at starting at center. Now you have a capable backup with Joe Looney. It's great because he got a chance to start a whole season. Travis Frederick comes back in there, takes that starting role back. You got Joe Looney as a backup. If injuries ensue or he's not able to continue the season, it's okay because you got Joe Looney there. Like, again, it's not the same, but it's not bad either. It's not like you got Chaz Green out there. Now, <laughs> Chaz Green is going to be a running gag for this team going forward. Even though Chaz Green is no longer a Dallas Cowboy, because of the negative impact that happened with him on this team, he's going to be a running gag forever. <laughs> But it is what it is. Um, that's all I have for the, for for that one. But um, I look at it like this: this team is is going to um, be something, and I think that this year is starting to change. You're starting to see things change in this organization, and this year is is an example of what's going on. So that's that that's how I look at it. Um, but we're basically going to draft for depth. We're going to draft for need. Um, because again, we need a safety and I think that's going to be the first pick that we get. So with that being said, y'all, thanks again to all my subscribers. I appreciate all your support. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a great day.